The intolerant left appears to be debasing our nation while undermining those who dissent from the liberal agenda. Despite this, conservatives believe they will come out on top this November. During the Obama administration, we saw celebrity after celebrity after celebrity come through. I was kind of surprised at how upset the media was that Donald Trump was having a visit with a very, very significant celebrity. Project 21 co-chairman Horace Cooper told One American News that Kanye West's meeting with President Trump reflects the country's current politics. The truth is that Kanye West is just following where black America is starting to move. Do those hold any weight, um, the items that he spoke about at the Oval Office? Kanye West talked about things that I think most importantly signal it's okay for black Americans to say publicly that they disagree with the progressive worldview. That's the biggest takeaway that I had from this. But the second one is how much hypocrisy there was. Do we see this just completely dwindling down? I mean, I feel like every time we turn around, we wake up and we see a crazy headline, news story, something where we're trashing somebody or a group or whatever it may be, and people are tired of it. So. Is that going to last? They can't stand the idea that black America, just like white America, men and women can think for themselves, can speak, and they can reject whatever it is that the mainstream media elites are pushing from a hard left perspective. That perspective is being undermined by current poll results. Surveys are showing that uh, Donald Trump has a substantially higher approval rating among blacks than any Republican that we've seen in 25 years just heading into a midterm election. Mm -hmm. When you count where blacks and Latinos are, according to some of the mainstream polls, they're only about seven to nine points lower than the approval record that Barack Obama had heading into a mid-year election or even heading into a re-election. Cooper attributes a higher approval rating to low unemployment rates and a growing economy, items not overlooked by voters. Because of this, Cooper believes voters will not be swayed by the leftist campaign. One party has been working really, really hard to present options and showing a track record. The other party just yells, resist, resist, resist. You're not easily going to be able to convince those people, hey, it's not the president, it's not conservative policies, it must just be good luck. A lot of Americans, black, white, or brown, see how great things are and they're likely to say, let's not change things. It's finally going good. In just three weeks, Americans across the country will be able to distinguish whether or not the media has a stronghold over the polls. Gabrielle Cuccia, One American News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.